guys, it's Tip. What is freaking up, you guys? As you guys can tell by the title of this video, we are doing a full face of makeup using only challenge. I've seen all of these challenges all over YouTube, and I wanted to start my own challenge, and this is using only art supplies. I came up with this video idea on July 26, 2016. I even tweeted about it. I tweeted very vaguely, but Pretty much the tweet was like, I came up with the best video idea ever. So huge shout out to Natalie's outlet. She did school supplies, which is very similar to mine. Great minds think alike. So everything that I'm going to be using on my face is from Michaels. This was a challenge. I even bought a huge box of 48 crayon chalk. This thing has 152 crayons in it. So if you guys like this video, thumbs it up. Let's try to get to... 40,000 thumbs up and also if you guys are new to my channel make sure you guys subscribe because I put out videos every single weekend But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now you guys are closer to me P.S. If you guys had no idea, this is what I look like without makeup on so we're gonna take these face paint kits and try to make foundation out of them. I Studied last night. I studied about paint theory and color theory and foundation theory from color theory What I've learned is that you're supposed to mix red blue and yellow so all the primary colors together the theory behind that is that everybody has blue reds and yellows under their skin so that's why you mix all those three colors together so i'm gonna scrape a little bit of red that's kind of a lot of red i'm gonna vlog this so you guys can see got some blue and i'm gonna scrape in brown and white okay that definitely is not a foundation color that is so dark all right i'm adding like a tiny bit of green i don't know if that'll help yep. Okay, so that's the foundation color I made for myself. Don't think I'm gonna get any closer than that. Um, so we're just gonna smear it on my face and rub it together. Oh, this feels so greasy. This is gross. Holy cow, that's not even my face color. What is that? So I'm gonna use this sponge brush that comes with a face paint and hopefully that blends out everything. Ew, this water is turning so gross. It's very splotchy with this thing. <gasps> this water is so gross. So I'm gonna contour my face using this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this color that I made and add like the tiniest bit of black to it. All right, so I'm taking this dark color that I just made for myself and I'm gonna apply that to my fingers. Oh my gosh. What am I thinking? Now I just feel stupid. I feel like right now you guys are thinking I'm joking but I legitimately thought this was gonna be a good idea. <sighs> Looks like I highlighted my entire face. Since I'm gonna be a real beauty girl today, since we did foundation, I also gotta set my makeup with powder. I'm using chalk. This chalk, you guys, oh, takes it to a whole new level. Well, bam, look at that, guys. That is 48 colors. So I have these four pieces of chalk. I'm gonna mix all these colors together to make my own translucent powder. Okay, this is what I'm doing. I'm literally scratching the chalk. Scratch, 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 scratch. Oh, this works too if you rub them together. That is so legit, look at that. So I'm gonna be taking this brush right here. I'm gonna use it as my translucent powder brush. I hope this is non-toxic for the face. I haven't even checked. Pretty sure it's non-toxic. It doesn't say on the box. Yeah, it doesn't say. Oh, it's in my eye. Honestly, I think this is making me look like I actually have real foundation on because before it just looked like I had red paint on my face. You guys, if you run out of translucent powder, just buy chalk. My skin feels so nice, soft, and smooth. It totally looks like cocoa powder now. I'm gonna use this same brush right here. Mm, is that working? Is that working, you guys? I'm so splotchy. What is that? Ugh. Time for blush. That legit looks like blush. I'm gonna use this guy. Oh my god, that is working. Oh, it looks so good. Oh no, oh no. All right, so after blush, you gotta use highlighter. I'm gonna use this glitter pack. You guys, this glitter pack was $2.50. So it has all of these colors, beautiful colors. I'm gonna use a glue stick, and I don't know if I should put my fingers on it or literally dab it on my face. Might just dab it on my face. That was very embarrassing. And for the glitter color, I'm gonna be using this beautiful glitter color. It's like this white powder, but it shines purple and green. Oh, it's working. Do you see it? Do you see the highlight? Am I a mermaid yet? Am I a mermaid? 
secretly want to be a mermaid. That was the dumbest idea. Don't do that. Okay, taking that off. All right, so now that we're done with the face makeup, it's time for some eye makeup. And I'm gonna use color pencil as my eyebrow color. And I have this thing. You guys, don't try this at home. I think it worked. Ooh, it's warm. Oh, this is totally working. Okay, other side. You know what, I think I'm gonna dip these in hot water. I think I need to let these sit for like 10 minutes. I remember Rachel's video, she had them sitting for a little bit. So I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow. You guys, there are so many colors to choose from. Dilemma, dilemma guys. Let's go with purple. All right, so this is rubbing alcohol and there is some purple color. Oh, hey, it's purple. Yeah, I look crazy. I'm gonna use this as a blender. Oh my gosh, this thing is so soft. Let's see if this works now. It just made my eyebrows worse. Hmm. I don't trust these anymore. Ow, that hurts. Why would anyone do this? Oh, the blue one's kind of working. Yeah, that's that. Okay, so I don't like this trick. So what I'm gonna do instead is I am gonna grab this tiny brush right here. I'm gonna dip it in the blue. All right, since my eyeshadow looks crazy, I'm gonna try to hide it with a winged eyeliner. I'm gonna use the black right here. I feel like I look like Tammy from the movie Tammy now. If my parents wouldn't have bought me makeup, I would have been like, can you buy me face paint instead? Okay, I look less crazy now. Okay, this purple is really bothering me. So I'm gonna try to like blend that out. Should I mix it in the brown? Ooh, now it just looks like I have a purple smoky eye. That looks good. Much better than it did before. What? What do you think? <laughs> if you guys remember lip stains, I remember the lip stains from CoverGirl. They looked exactly like markers. And I was like, are they just selling us markers? They felt like markers. They tasted like markers. So I thought for my lips, I would use actual Crayola poster markers. Red or pink? Well, my face is already red, so I think I'm just gonna go with pink. Oh, I just hit myself. My lips are so dry, ew. Ew, what happened? There's makeup on my elbow. Yo, that looks so good. Wait, that looks so good on camera. In real life, I look crazy, but I feel like on camera, it looks really good. There's no black in here? <gasps> All right, so all I have is a black Sharpie, which I'm gonna have to say, not entirely sure how I feel about putting this on my eyelashes. I just got it on my lash line, uh-oh. Yep, this is not working. This doesn't work, you guys. My lips taste funny. Ew, they taste gross. Don't lick your lips. All right, guys, so that is it with my video. Oh, look at this face. I'm actually very, very surprised at myself. This looks amazing. Like, if I was a kid and my parents didn't let me wear makeup, I would be like, I'm not wearing makeup. I'm wearing art supplies on my face. So I challenge you guys to try out this challenge. And the challenge rules are is that everything you use has to be from an art supply store and including the brushes. Make sure you guys tag me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. It's all at Miss Tiffany Ma. And if you guys want to see behind the scenes of this video, I do have a vlog channel. They have been vlogging, so I'll link my vlog channel down below for you guys. I am not a beauty guru in any way, and I'm pretty proud of how my face turned out. But if you guys want, tag your favorite beauty gurus because I'm sure they're going to slay this challenge, and I secretly want them to do it too, like Nikki tutorials should totally try this challenge so i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye everyone bye hey loser catch sorry i didn't mean to do that